Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is the Giro puzzle. The Giro puzzle uh, came from a suggestion by uh, Jared McComb and Jared asked me can you make a puzzle with four gears that when you uh, turn one gear uh, to the right its right hand neighbor turns and when you, when you turn it to the left its left uh, hand uh, neighbor turns. So I managed to do this so I'm going to turn the yellow gear And you see the red gear turning when I turn the yellow to the left. You see the green gear turning and actually this works uh, with all the gears. Uh. So you uh, also see that uh, after each turn um, every th part uh, falls back in place and that's uh, because of some strong magnets that I've uh, put into the base and uh, well you can already guess the object of the puzzle the object is to get the cross in the middle uh, completed and uh, getting one, two or even three let's see, let's, okay now I got the yellow one right and let's see, I can get the red one uh, right as well and let's try the blue one okay now I also have the blue one so for uh, three out of four is not that difficult but the fourth one uh, is difficult and as you can uh, already guess uh, all the no uh, teeth numbers are composites so we have uh, 12, 15, 18 and 20 teeth so um, that makes this uh, puzzle quite uh, interesting to solve. Let me also show you a, uh, a more simple uh, version that I made, one without all the magnets and the big board. That is uh, this one and here you can just put uh, the gears out, turn them, push them back and turn them uh, in the other direction. It doesn't have the ratcheting, so if you have gone one too, too far forward you can just turn back. So this puzzle should be uh, slightly easier to solve, I, uh, I would guess. Anyway, uh, my uh, question to you is, uh, since I haven't given you the solution of the puzzle yet, um, what would be your solving strategy? Thank you for watching.